I'm going to be comparing some different guitar pickups along with their magnets and also a classic pickup mod using a magnetic field viewer that I built. Okay, so here it is. It's pretty much just a clear bottle with some iron filings in a suspension fluid. So you can sort of see the flux lines three dimensionally. I've got a few pickups I really want to check out today, along with those magnets I was talking about. I've got some El Nico bar and rod magnets. And that classic mod is the one where you cut the screw pieces flush with the bottom of a humbucker and it's supposed to change the magnetic field coming out the top so that's going to be quite an interesting one to see what happens there. Okay so first up we have a Chinese single core that are pulled from a Squire and a Fender USA standard Stratocaster pickups. Now the difference between these two is that the Chinese one uses a ceramic bar magnet across the bottom of all six pole pieces where in the Fender USA pickup each of those pole pieces is a magnet in itself. So here's the Chinese one now, let's have a look. It is quite cool. This is the Fender USA pickup. Now each one of these is its own individual magnet. So let's do a comparison. Now you can sort of see here the Chinese one, the ceramic magnet is so much more powerful and you can sort of see that by those flux lines streaming out from the, from the pole pieces where the American one, the magnetism isn't as strong. And this is the thing I don't like about low quality pickups. Often they put hardly any winds on then they put a really powerful magnet on to bring that volume up and you get this real spiky, overly, trebly, bitey pickup which is something I don't like at all. Next we have a Fender Noiseless pickup versus that same American Standard pickup that came out of that Strat. And please note if you remember at my fourth wall site there is additional content over there so there's some links in the description. Also subscribe if you're not already and smack me a like. I love doing these videos and I've got loads more on the way. The difference between these two is they're both El Nico 5s but the noiseless one has beveled pole pieces so those magnetic pole pieces which are all El Nico 5s have been beveled. And what we've been told is that's supposed to focus that magnetic field a bit tighter over the top. Let's have a look at the noiseless one to start with. Nice, and here's the Fender USA one. You can definitely see that the pattern on the top of the noiseless is a little tighter. That was actually really interesting, so let's check out some humbuckers. Humbucker time now, we've got a Sir Thornbucker Neck versus a Kinman PAF Plus. Now these are both neck humbuckers. The difference here is that the Sir Thornbucker, that's kind of a traditional PAF style, and the Kinman, even though it's called a PAF Plus, it, they are very unique build and they do a lot to refocus that magnetic field. So let's have a look at these here. Okay, so here's the Sir Neck, let's have a look. Here is the Kinman. So if you look at the Sir neck and the Kinman, you can see that the Kinman does seem a little bit more focused than the Sir neck pickup. It's something I have noticed with these Kinmans, you can get them pretty close to those strings before you get any issues with intonation and stuff like that. Time for that mod, so for this I'm using the Sir Thornbucker PAF Plus, that's the bridge pickup in that set. So let's have a look at it first, this is without them cut, that's what the pickup pattern looks like. And now we're going to snip those bolts, and here it is after. Now I can't see too much of a difference here, so if you look around those screw poles, they actually might be a little bit of truth to this mod. It does look like that magnetic field has changed a little bit over those screws. So now I want to check out some magnets. I've got some El Nico 5 and El Nico 2 rod and bar magnets. It's going to be really interesting to see what these look like. First we've got the El Nico 5 versus El Nico 2 rod magnets. So these are the little magnets that go inside a single coil pickup. I'm expecting this to be a bit stronger. That's what that looks like there. And here's the El Nico 2. Now this should have a, uh, oh, looks pretty similar actually. 
that's the Elnico 5 and the Elnico 2. You can see clearly that the Elnico 5 has got a little bit more magnetic strength there. So let's have a look at these humbucker bar magnets. Now these magnets are inside most humbuckers and they're responsible for magnetizing the pole pieces of each coil. So you've got one central magnet magnetizing the pole pieces of each coil on each side of that humbucker. So we've got the Elnico 5 bar magnet. Let's have a look. Ooh, that looks really cool. And now the Elnico 2. Nice. you can clearly see the Elnico 5 is just a way more powerful magnet. If you're the type of person that learns through doing things like me, then a visualizer like this is a really handy tool. I can see so many uses for a tool like this in the workshop, especially when designing pickups. I've got a new design that I'm working on where I'm gonna be redirecting that magnetic field out through the top of that pickup. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that works with that visualizer. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Have a great week, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.